Let me tell you something. I'm not going to go and go and tell you to come off of the wrong stop. You hear me? I want to know. Me say, I'm not going to go and go and tell you to come off of the wrong stop. Don't be so stupid. That's why the country is riddled with crime and violence because of our stupidity. Our stupidity. Not being able to have a conversation. Huh? Not being able to take criticism. Constructive one at that. So no one for, no, no, no one for, um, react with violence. On no one for attack. What for? On no one for got people school. On no one for got people yard. On no one for got people work. What for? To prove what? Some sort of loyalty to who? To somebody you don't know. It, uh, supporting the person is enough. Supporting is enough. You have to leave people. Let them hash out them thing. How many people? How many I want to argue with a sister? On a mother? On a brother? Argue, fight, cuss, quarrel. So why is it nobody else can do it? Why is it that two people will never meet a day in their life? Why they can't do it? Why can't they do it? Hmm? Why can't they have a disagreement? They are public people. We are public people. Why we can't have a public disagreement? And why can't it be hashed out? You hash out. Say your piece. And we move on. We move. Now dwell upon it. It is what it is done. Dusted. We move on. So, on look sit down. can sit all on the support. So, just sit down. Talk about it. Give an opinion, which is fine. You know, say, on the say. And that should be it. But nobody come. When I come, oh, me know where this one live. Me know where, me say. <laughs> me I want you, me I want you, you know. Hmm? Me I want you, know. And I've always said, when you can't say what you want to say about me, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Right? Certain, certain things don't bother me. Because I know, I know, I know my life. I know who I am. Me know the people in my life. They know who they are. You understand? But you also have persons in my life. They might not take certain things lightly. Right? And sometimes they're in a position to act. No, what you not do? Watch on yourself. Watch on yourself. And don't feel like, say, because you're in one other, one other country, they can't get to you in another country. Yes, they're in the position to do that. So careful how you come. And not, do not want to dig up things and dash things out there. Just be careful. Be careful. One person in particular here on here. I am I am warning you, gentlemen. Be careful. You are known to go and dig up this and dig up that or whatever. You are known. You are not hard to get to. You understand? Be careful. Stop doing that nonsense. That nonsense that you're doing over there, stop it. Stop it. Use your words. Express yourself. When you support somebody, you don't you 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 don't you don't threaten. Others who disagree with her. You don't threaten. You come, that's some sort of barbaric and primitive behavior. That's our country cannot progress. That's why we are 10th. We are the 10th country with the highest crime rate. 10th out of 195. We are the 10th. Because we can't solve conflicts. We can't lose our words. We want to go and sabotage the next person. So when you sabotage the next person, what is going to happen? Hmm? How is that going to make your life better? When you sabotage someone, how is that going to make your life better? I'm just, I'm just here wondering how. Because as far as me concerned, you not go better. You not go better off. You will be no better than what you are. You're going to be worse. Stop messing up. Stop messing with people. Stop messing with people. Nothing is wrong for, you know, having an opinion on something. Nothing is wrong with that. Nothing is wrong with asking questions. If you see something not no right. Nothing is wrong with that. 
But don't let her out on no yard. Go on nobody else yard. I go on nobody school. I go on nobody work. I go on nobody workplace. For what? Uno so, uno so dumb. And uno just foolish. Backward and just primitive. Ah, oh, for what? Virtual. It's a virtual world. It's real people, but it's a virtual world. People where you don't know, you don't know them. Uno no know we. Three quarters, uno no. Uno no know we. It's okay. It's alright, you know. It is okay. For you to go over there and watch somebody. Who maybe are enjoy somebody's personal this person's personality, even if they they are always at odds with somebody over on the other side where you where you support. It is okay for still like certain aspects of their personality because I do. I do. There's nobody within social media that I dislike, and that's the God's honest truth. And I say dislike. There's no one I dislike. Not one person. No matter how. Horrible, them come and cuss and carry on. Me not make certain things, say certain things, me not, you not make it bad at me. Because there's good in all of us. There's some, me can't watch, me can't watch every single solitary platform, uh, um, hold on. I learned, I learned something from, from, from what they must say. I enjoy them content. There's something that they're doing that I enjoy. So no, no, because you like, you like Planka Boss. You can't like big deal. Or you feel like you're being, and I understand, you know how you feel. I know that feeling to feel like, you know, you're over there and I watch you feel like, oh my God, I feel like I'm betraying this person. I know how it feels. Honestly, I know how it feels. I felt like that for a long time. You know, but you have to realize that this is social media. We don't know one another. Are you up here, your phone bill? You're supposed to watch who you want to watch and enjoy who you want to enjoy and support who you want to support. You still can't support MC and you still can't support um, Planka Boss. Why we have to separate the two? I went and one of the one across the other one, one I show the shade to the other. We can't say, come on, man, fix up on yourself and stop with the shade showing. It's high time we stop them foolishness. But then again, it is entertainment. So I'm just sit down and enjoy the entertainment. Like I said before, some of we will life very miserable. For me, these past couple of weeks since we come back from a holiday, I have been enjoying. I have been enjoying social media so much. I found it so entertaining. You understand? Cause sometimes you 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 bored. There's nothing much. You tell you what I had to watch movie and stuff like that. You want to see this? I want you want to see this? or you want to hear? There's nothing wrong with that. You understand? But as for me, I am I am happy that I am no longer in a space where you know I have to constantly be. Protecting this person. I mean, I you know, I have to have my foot, my, this person I have to get my 100%, my full support all the time, 100% and nobody else. You know, it's unfortunate how things played out, you know, but it happened for a reason. Everything happened for a reason because I can tell you that today I feel amazing. Since it happened, I feel good. No matter how people are going to drag me and say, I feel absolutely amazing i went i pampered myself i feel light like a feather you know why because i can now be me i can now speak about anybody else over there we're maybe against the plankatarians we can come and say okay this one this this one. that's what bloggers do we're supposed to come and speak and be unbiased you understand i still deep down you still have support for the individuals you understand? Because sometimes they are doing good. MC cannot do good. It's okay for me to support whatever good she's doing over there. Planka boss, hey, they are do good. It's okay for me to support. You, you're not being a traitor and that's the thing. That's where we, and, and, and I'm part of that whole creation as well with this whole side thing. You know, but I am evolving. I'm growing. I'm learning. You understand? Where I was last year, I am not there. You know, my life has been a journey for the last three years. Every year I've achieved and accomplished something. I've learned. You know, I'm, you know, I'm progressing. So the way how, you know, the way how I used to think last year, you know, what I mean, I'm in a whole different mindset this year, right? I'm thinking ahead. I'm thinking for the future, you know, future plans, opportunities. So I have to start fixing up myself and start looking sharp now because of you know opportunities on the horizon 
so you know as we say it's unfortunate that things happen the way out it happened you know and you know things were said where you know it was a bit harsh i don't have no regrets you know what 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 i said but my delivery and my tone yes and i'm known for that when it comes down to blogging blogging in a real life i can't be a bit harsh you know but like maybe in my own space and i'm a one family or whatever like a bit harsh or whatever but you know um my blogging that's my persona online like i'm just blunt and i'm just gonna tell you the stone cold truth or whatever just like that it is what it is and that side of me it has been stifled for quite a long time where i wasn't really able to do certain things but now i am able to do so and it's a really really good feeling it's and i'm it's an amazing feeling and I just don't want to be attached to anybody in social media. I am a blogger. I don't, I don't want to, as a blogger, I don't want to be friends with content creators. I've seen it. I, I, I see these people as I see how they operate. Somebody just want, let them stay over this. So I mean, stay over here. So I don't want to know anything. You know, we just want, I just want to watch and see for myself. Right. And then give my op op honest opinion based on what I see. Right? I don't think bloggers should be friends with content creators because it's very, very difficult. It's like conflict of interest. You understand? It's so we should we shouldn't be doing that to be honest. Because it's gonna make your job hard. And for those of you over there on the internet, trust me, when you do that, when you make your content all about one person and when the time comes up for you to actually split justice, your your followers, your supporters, they're going to uh, they're going to wanna drag you. They're going to drag you. They're going to say, okay, how, how dare you say this? No, it's time for us to just call it out. Say it for what it is. You understand? So, that's all me have to say, guys. You know, I am okay. Me never go jump off on a precipice. Me never slit my wrist. Me never fall in a depression. I am fine. I am, I am, I'm actually doing really, really well. Right? I have a wonderful support system. You know, and nothing that's said in the media, like nothing phases me, nothing, nothing bothers us because we know that you say certain things. We know how the game, you know, we, we, we know how this game is played. We know. I've seen it done to other people where you know, go dig up on us, make up stories or make up lies and stuff like that. I've seen you guys doing it to other people. So why should I be exempt from it? I'm fine. 